Hi, Geminis. My name is Abby. Welcome to your reading. Okay, this is going to be a love reading for the sign of Gemini. It could be sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. It could really be any placement of Gemini. Cross watchers, you do whatever you do. Um, everyone's welcome so long as they keep it respectful in the comment section. So this is going to be a love reading, a general love reading. Uh, the next one round of readings I do on this channel are going to be just completely general. So on those ones, it won't be a hardcore love focus. So pay attention to those as well. I am not a love only channel. That would drive me crazy. <laughs> so if you're new to my love readings, I do two sides right now. This is my favorite spread. Um, there'll be three rows, past, present, and future. I'm going to speak to this side, the right side, as though it's Gemini. Okay? Only take the parts that fit for you. Okay? This is a general reading on the internet. Not everything is going to be for every single Gemini who finds it. Okay? So take the stuff that makes sense. Leave the rest for whoever who needs it. Okay, I'm going to draw a row for the middle at the end with the Romance Angels to get a sense of the connection over time. So, ooh, interesting. So we have the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Taurus um, or there could be some kind of high level commitment sort of in the works whether that's an engagement or a marriage there's it feels like there's a bit of a vibe there so let me see can i have the past please oh soulmate and the present energy healing family issues And we have you deserve love in the future. Absolutely. And not just in the future, Gemini. Past, present, future, every day, every minute. At the bottom of the deck, underlying feelings, romantic, romantic feelings. Saying that your, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So this could be... It feels like you were in some kind of connection with this person. I'm not sure if you're in a relationship with them. Of course, it's a general reading, so it'll be different for all of you. Sometimes the romantic feeling card comes out for me, and I think of people who are in connections where there's a need for more romance. Um, and for others, it's that you've met someone, and there are feelings there, and it's a, a process of trying to go towards them, okay? On the, your side, Gemini, in the past, we have the six of cups and the five of swords so i'm wanting to say that there's something from your past could be a person uh could be an idea could be an idea related to things like soulmates or love or um how to prioritize things in relationships and this came into really sharp focus for you in the connection with this person. The Five of Swords can indicate some verbal disagreements. Sometimes it also has to do with putting yourself in the spotlight in a way that not everybody likes. It can be a win at all costs at, at its absolute, um, at its more extreme examples. But it's it's sort of a bit of a conflict energy. And a lot of the time sort of, verbal communication things like that okay and the hangman on their side so you could be dealing with a pisces possibly and the five of cups but this looks like someone who is stuck um they're trying to find a way to look at a situation but they have a little bit of kind of an eeyore mentality i want to say if you know winnie the pooh um they tend to be a little bit of a glass half like a glass half empty type is kind of what I'm getting for this. Now, I'm going to dig a little bit. Mm hmm. But you're kind of. I'm wanting to. T yeah. Hell yeah. Very nice. Okay. So you have two sixes for one, 
it also goes five, six, seven. So I feel like on your side, you had some maturing and some progressive energies happening here. Okay. If you see this, we have five swords, six, six of wands, six cups, and then seven of wands. Also, six of wands is a card of like victory and attention. This feels like wanting to be seen, uh, wanting to be seen and wanting to be put above all else because you understand yourself to be sort of rising above the riffraff in a way, like rising above um, the sort of trivialities of day-to-day -day life. And there might be a little bit of nostalgia coming in here, all right, with the Six of Cups. But this feels like really wanting to win, um, really wanting to win at something here. Maybe that's what's tied into your past. We have the with the hangman. What's happening for them? Five of cups again. Wow. Okay. And three of wands. So they want to see this person carries a, a lot of sadness and regret. And they are in the past. Um, I feel like this clouded their vision of the future. Okay. Now I'm, for some reason, I'm wanting to say things like, I don't know if it's wit like relationships that they witnessed in the past because for some reason this hierophant started to catch me out of the corner of my eye and I was like like maybe this is someone who had like divorced parents or parents who had a very tumultuous relationship and it feels like they have this issue with connections that is about it clouds their judgment of like future outlook because they get sort of wrapped up in the things that they saw and heard and the way that they have seen relationships play out okay that and i'm not sure if that's their personal issues i'm thinking it might be from healing family issues showing up in your present um but i'm feeling like this might be something that wasn't as obvious to you then okay i'm gonna take a look at this soulmate energy Four of Swords, yeah. This feels like the kind of connection that is like a retreat from the world. Like the two of you get together and it's like a quiet, private thing, okay? That there's some need also for healing in this. And that it, there was probably a lot of energetic input on either your part or their part, but it feels like the connection itself, in a way, healed something for someone here. And maybe it healed a little bit for both of you, but there's like some kind of downtime or a break that may have happened also. Sometimes that can be the Four of Swords, but for more, more so I'm getting the sense of it being almost like a retreat. Like the two of you get together and it's like there's nothing else. There's nobody else. And it just gets quiet. Interesting. Okay, so in the present energy, we have the page of wands and the three of wands. So fire sign energy. Very like adventurous, very fiery, very attractive. You could have fire placements in your chart. You could be feeling very much like going on an adventure with this person like feeling a little restless and looking towards the future, feeling like we've been patient, we've been healing, we've been doing what we have to do. Let's get going, right? Let's go. Let's get it, get it happening here. On their side, they have the Page of Cups and the Eight of Cups. So this feels like there is something that they have been working on releasing, okay? The Eight of Cups is about walking away from things that don't work for you anymore, for some people, this could be even a card of divorces or breakups, okay? And the Page of Cups, almost wanting to... I'm feeling like a wanting to apologize for the way that they've handled things before because I feel like they maybe didn't completely understand or they didn't feel like they could trust necessarily to share with you why they were doing things the way they were doing them. Let me take a, oh, what's at the bottom? Yeah, the devil's at the bottom there. So some things, it could be like toxicities, it can be excess or just like patterns in our head that aren't helping us, you know? 
Yeah, five of swords again, right? It's a headache. I feel like you um, have times right now where it's just like kind of a pain in the ass. I don't know how else to say it. I know it's not like the most like mystical tarot reading way to say it, but it just feels like a pain in the ass. Like you want to get going at building something new. They do seem to have a, um, a sense of wanting to apologize. Um, this very sweet page of cups energy feeling like it wants to come in here. However, it feels like there's some headaches associated with this whole thing for you. You could physically actually be having headaches, maybe. Nine of Wands. But you don't want to give up. You want to stick it out. Because you can see the future. It feels like you can see the future happening with this connection. And like even though this person might be a pain, the connection itself might be a pain sometimes, it feels like really wanting to stick something out here. The Eight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. This is all about timing, okay? Um, this person may have previously tried to rush things, all right? Um, they could be kind of looking at things in a way that's like, is is the way that I've been dealing with things, has it been giving me the results that I want? Has it been worth it, right? Has it been worth it to be so stuck in my head and stuck in regret, to lose sight of the future, right? And to stay in the hangman, hang myself in the tree and just like hang around with regrets, you know? Focusing on the negatives, expecting the other shoe to fall all the time, you know? Has that actually been working out for me? And I feel like they're probably making some steps to try and mentally and emotionally like move away from that kind of behavior. Very nice emperor energy. So this is Aries. So this is much more future focused. This is seeing the world as like a game, as a strategy, as a chessboard, right? Where there are certain moves to be taken and um, that's a direction to go in, right? I really like seeing that with this page too because that's like coming in and saying, I'm really sorry. Um, here's what I see for the future, right? Here's what I see. It looks like where before their three of wands was clouded with all this, this regret, there's a different energy in this, right? Of course, only take it with it res if it resonates. I don't know. <laughs> this feels very specific, like a very specific story. So hopefully it gets to the Gemini who needs it. Um, King of Wands, beautiful energy, beautiful. So this is this very attractive, very future-focused, ambitious, adventurous, sexy energy. This is very nice. This is somebody who goes out and makes things happen right? So this feels like almost like a connection that is like thawing out after a winter is kind of what I'm feeling. Like the four of swords here being kind of like we come in together and then go sort of into our own little world to heal. And then, you know, the snow starts to thaw. <laughs> and as we get closer and we the trust builds and all of that kind of stuff. It's like, okay, someone's coming. I feel like someone's kind of coming out of their shell and deciding to be more decisive. The connection has more attentiveness here. So there could also be, say, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, who's associated with these family issues. This card says specifically your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So there could be some sort of like say a king of wands person that need you know someone needs to maybe forgive um which of course doesn't have to involve that person you can cut people out and then forgive them for your own peace of mind so that you can put it away and move on with your life right there's lots of ways to do that but uh the cards indicating that there could be something there now in the future remember future energy is just based it's a projection of the future it's of the, the current energies sorry so they can change depending on what actions we all choose to take. Now we have here on your side, the Queen of Coins and the Death card. So this is Scorpio energy along with Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Now, Gemini, I feel like you are sitting in a very resourceful kind of place. And there is sort of incoming for you a 
sort of teardown of the way that you think about yourself. I feel like this is you sitting in a place of understanding better your role as being like a resourceful person, as being a nurturing person, um, as being an attentive nesting kind of energy, and that that might be something that you are embracing in a different way, okay? It's a feminine energy. It doesn't mean you have to be a feminine person, men, women, human beings, doesn't matter, okay? But there's something here that is shifting fundamentally for you with this death. A transformation. Something is ending so you can begin anew. King of Pentacles showing up. And Temperance, okay. So, Sagittarius energy showing up here with the King of Pentacles, with the Queen of Pentacles. So this is saying, Temperance is an energy of getting stronger, of getting stronger by healing, by seeking balance, by mixing together two different energies. And the King and the Queen of Pentacles, divine counterparts, right? So this is like coming into a place where, like you have the Two of Cups at the bottom, and Queen of Pentacles again, shoot, Gemini, all of this repeating stuff, right? You sitting in your bounty. This could be things like you starting a, a business, you buying a home, you feeling very capable of these things on your own, wanting this person involved, but whether or not they're there, it feels like you're going for it anyway, right? You have this, this energy around you that's transformation and bringing things into from a cha more chaotic energy into a more aligned kind of energy, okay? Because it's interesting, because like death is 13 and temperance is 14. So it's like you go through this transformation, things feel kind of nuts and all over the place. Who am I? What is even going on? And then temperance comes in and goes, okay, here we go, right? Let's figure all of this out. Very nice. On their side... They have the Wheel of Fortune and the Fool. More Aries energy, so strong possibility this person might be an Aries or another fire sign, Sagittarius here with the Wheel. Um, I feel like they are moving towards, they're almost accepting, like taking a leap of faith on this is kind of what they're supposed to be doing. You know, they, there's a sense of that divine timing, right? Nope, just a second. Can't even really describe what they feel like when they're right. Yeah. King of Swords in the tower. Possibly that feels like a, a realization of some kind, maybe even some kind of wake up call. And I think that regardless if you're a man or woman here, um, Gemini, there's this seeing you, I think, in this King of Swords kind of energy. And they see you as someone very decisive. They see you as someone who's like authoritative. And someone who's worth taking this leap on. What's the connection about? Yeah, see, it's just like you have such the cards like Ace of Swords, Epiphanies, Truth. Nine of Cups. Like, I don't know. Like, what? You deserve love. Hell yeah. Even like better. Oh, I love the way that looks. You deserve it. It's your wish coming true, right? Just flying into the future. Gorgeous. Strength is at the bottom here. So patience again. Temperance can be about patience also. Okay, I'm going to grab you a couple from this deck. It's the Island Times Wellness Love Oracle. For the different Geminis that are watching Spirit, please, can we have some guidance or some maybe things they need to be aware of at this time? <laughs> Jeez. See, isn't this interesting? Like, the only one that came out is the boat. And, like, both of you have the Three of Wands which is all about watching your ships come in, right? And look at what this says. It's receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues, right? 
So it feels like there's something that needs to close out here. More so on their side doesn't mean that you don't, you know, have to still listen to your intuition and do your own inner work and all of that kind of stuff. But it, the cards are at least showing things more so on their side, okay? Uh, I'm going to get you a Wisdom of the Oracle relationship message. Okay. Can I have one for my Gemini, the relationship message? Ooh. Two, apparently. So we have 49, the observer. And we have number 23, peace. Ah. Okay. So this says, Sometimes you just can't see the forest for the trees in your way. Feelings can get all jumbled up and often you hear one thing when a person says another. It can be like an echo of an unresolved past experience dubbed over your conversation. Time out. Take a time out before you react. It's likely the other person has no idea how his or her words have affected you. Take a few steps back and lend understanding to the situation. Have faith in your connection and trust that you can come together. Take to higher ground now and cultivate curiosity about what you observe in others and yourself and in the landscape. You will find things much improved sooner than you know. Okay. So a little guidance. If you feel yourself getting kind of set off, triggered, upset by something happening, and it, especially if it's something this person doesn't have knowledge of or something like that, it could be something to talk about. 23, peace. Freedom from attachment and radical acceptance. Beautiful. Okay, so this says, when two people are in true alignment with one another, they have an innate harmony between them. They are as two perfectly attuned instruments playing together. Sometimes it's impossible to tell who is who. Peace is yours, and it is to be savored. Very nice. I had that sense. This feels like a connection of two people who, like, if you sleep together, it's like you sleep like octopus, <laughs> like all, um, like, you know, like coiled up in each other. Like this feels like, for some reason, this soulmate with the four of swords, it felt like this nesting energy, this really um, close energy there. Okay, Gemini, I hope something in here helped. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. The next round are not going to be love focused. They're going to be general. So I don't just do love readings all day, every day. Check out your other signs if you want to. Sun, moon, rising, Venus to see kind of what's going on for you. If you happen to have a Pisces placement in your chart, I do almost daily Pisces readings on my first channel on YouTube, Rogue Pisces Tarot. There's a link in the description down below. Take care of yourselves and I hope I will see you on the next one. Bye now.